Hello dear friends, welcome back. Friends, we are discussing about the anatomy of the lungs, right? It's, it was a uh, series of lectures on the anatomy of the respiratory system. The previous lecture was about the roots of the lungs and the structures which are present in the roots of the lungs. Now here we are going to enter into uh, inside the lungs and we will discuss about the bronchial tree. So what is bronchial tree? Bronchial tree consists of principal bronchus which means primary bronchi, a lobar bronchi which means secondary bronchi, a terminal bronchioles are there and respiratory bronchioles are there. Right? We divide all these bronchi under a very specific principle that is the trachea divides outside the lungs okay at the level of the lower border of T4 vertebra the trachea then goes down right and it divides into two tubes into two uh, narrow tubes and those are called the primary bronchi or we call them the right principal bronchus and the left principal bronchus at the level of lower border of T4 vertebra into two primary and it means principal bronchi the right and the left for the right and left lung respectively right now right principal bronchus is a little bit shorter you can see in this diagram also look here if you follow the from cursor this is left principal bronchus which is little bit longer and this is right principal bronchus which is little bit shorter so it's shorter but if you see the the diameter of the right uh, principal bronchus it is wider and the diameter of the left principal bronchus it is narrower okay so right principal bronchus is shorter wider and more vertical more vertical right it is about one inch it means 2.5 centimeter long and lies more or less in the line of the trachea so you can see here trachea uh, the the right principal bronchus is a little bit in the line of the trachea and left principal bronchus goes a little bit to the left side right so it is shorter wider and more vertical and its length is about one inches and left principal bronchus is narrower longer and more horizontal than the right right and it's about two inches it's a little bit longer than the right principal bronchus uh, long and does not lie in the line of the uh, in the line with the trachea right this was about the introduction okay now what happens when the principal bronchi enters inside the mass of the lungs what happens to them they divide into lower bronchi and then the lower bronchi divide into segmental bronchi right and then into bronchioles and then into other very small small respiratory bronchioles right so look here then i told you that the right and left principal bronchi divides into lower bronchi as our lungs has loops and you know my friends that the right lung has three loops and the left lung has only two loops same will be the case for the division of the bronchi the principal bronchi that the right principal bronchus will divide into three lower bronchi as the loops are three superior middle and inferior so there will be a branch to the superior loop that is called superior lower bronchi then there is middle lower bronchus we call it and then there is inferior lower bronchus right here we have written on entering the lungs the right principal bronchus divides and it gives off gives off means it gives branches three lobar bronchi right one for each lobe of the right lung the left principal bronchus on entering the lungs divides into two lobar bronchi as there are two loops in the left lung right then these bronchi, the lower bronchi, divides into segmental bronchi, right? We call them tertiary bronchi or segmental bronchi, right? Inside each lung, there are 
segments you can see here these are the segments of the lungs which i will discuss in the next lecture you can see the bronchopulmonary segments that will be in the next lecture on the lungs so there are segments inside our lungs there are 10 segments inside the lungs now look here what happens each lower bronchus divides into segmental tertiary bronchi one for each bronchopulmonary segment of the lung the segmental bronchi divide repeatedly to form very small bronchi called the terminal bronchioles right the terminal bronchioles gives off respiratory bronchioles which lack cartilage in their walls yes we know them each respiratory bronchiole rates a small portion of the lungs called the pulmonary unit which is concerned with the gaseous exchange the, the pulmonary units are here we will discuss them right now right so the tertiary or segmental bronchi these are those bronchi which uh, are uh, given off by the lower bronchi and they enter inside the lungs right and inside each segment bronchopulmonary segment of the lung right then what happens these uh, segmental or tertiary bronchi further each of them gives a pulmonary unit each pulmonary unit consists of alveolar ducts you can see here these are terminal bronchioles right and inside when they enter they give alveolar ducts atria air saccules and alveoli right so these are air sacs right pulmonary capillaries are around them so this one unit this one piece is called the pulmonary unit and inside this one pulmonary unit these four structures are present right so the tertiary or segmental bronchi gives off pulmonary units so this was the division of the bronchial tree the uh, principal bronchi right and left then each right and left gives off lobar the right lobar and uh, the right uh, principal bronchus gives three lobar bronchi and the left gives off two lobar bronchi and then there uh, uh, to the last uh, which is the pulmonary units now what is the arterial supply of the lungs our lungs takes their blood supply takes their oxygenated blood from bronchial arteries and from pulmonary arteries right bronchial arteries and pulmonary arteries and what is the venous drainage of the lungs our lungs are drained by two sets of veins that is bronchial veins and pulmonary veins so bronchial veins and pulmonary veins and what is the lymphatic drainage of the lungs that is superficial lymph vessels and deep lymph vessels you can uh, we'll see it here the lymph the lymphatic drainage of the lungs is clinically important because lungs cancer spread by lymphatic pathway the lymph from the lungs is drained by two sets of the vessels the superficial and the deep here are the superficial vessels and then inside them there are deep vessels and they come out right so lymphatic drainage by superficial lymph vessels and deep lymph vessels and what is the nerve supply or innervation of the lungs so our lungs are supplied by parasympathetic fibers and sympathetic fibers right uh, okay now look carefully the the parasympathetic fibers cause the bronchoconstriction bronchospasm vasodilation and increase mucor mucus secretion this is all the functions of the parasympathetic supply and the parasympathetic innervation is provided by which nerve vagus nerve right and sympathetic innervation is provided from um, by the uh, branches from the t2 t3 t4 and t5 parts of the spinal uh, segments spinal segments of the spinal cord the sympathetic fibers cause the bronchodilation look here parasympathetic causes bronchoconstriction sympathetic causes bronchodilation vasoconstriction and decreased mucus secretion okay the different impulses arise from the bronchial mucus membranes and stretch receptors in the alveolar walls pass to the central nervous system 
through both sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers which we know which i told you that parasympathetic comes from vagus nerve and sympathetic innervation comes from the uh, the spinal segments on the uh, of the spinal cord which comes from the t2 t3 t4 and t5 right and what are the functions of these parasympathetic and sympathetic fibers we have written them here okay so next lecture inshallah we will discuss about the bronchopulmonary segments and in this lecture we discussed about the bronchial tree so inshallah we will meet in the next lecture till then friends allah hafiz